What's poppin' y'all, and welcome to an entrepreneur's lifestyle. So, one, sorry if the air conditioning is loud, it's too hot in this car, but y'all gonna have to bear with me. And two, judging by the title of this video, I'm gonna be talking about um, how to start your business. I've gotten a couple DMs about this, so I decided to do a video on it, or well, I was already gonna do a video, but it's coming out sooner than I thought so basically I have like five steps on how to start your business number one number one this is the easiest way to put it just do it like Nike okay just do it it's the same thing as YouTube you asking somebody oh um, should I start a YouTube channel should I, should I start my business um, Who's going to support me if I do this? Who's going to support me if I do that? You're not serious. You're honestly not serious. Because if you're worried about, oh, am I going to have people um, buy my stuff, watch my channel or whatever, then you're not serious about running a business. Because if people say no, then you're not going to do it. You're going to let other people stop you from doing what you want to do. Honestly, if you want to start your own business, do it. And don't just... Uh, don't just say okay I'm gonna start my business if you're gonna start your business you need to actually like start getting things together like figuring out um, what you want to sell and everything like that that's you just doing it to say it is one thing but to say it and actually like work towards um, preparing for a launch and everything like that is another thing so that's number one just do it get everything in order and focus on oh when do I think I'm going to be ready to launch what am I what do I need to get to get started everything like that okay so number two is um know what you know what you want your business to be do you want to sell um do you want to sell lip gloss do you want to sell clothes do you want to provide a service like um YouTube intros or making flyers, photography, anything of that sort. Know what you want to do, okay? Because it's one thing to want to have a business, but if you don't know what you want to sell, then <laughs> that's number two. You're not serious, honestly. Like, I feel like a lot of people these days are just like, I want to start a business. And you're like, oh, what are you going to sell? Oh, I don't know yet. On now y'all gotta at least do some type of research as to what do you want to sell preferably sell things that you use like me personally I'm not gonna hold y'all I don't wear sunglasses I really don't and the only reason I don't wear sunglasses is because I wear my I wear glasses so if I'm choosing between sunglasses and glasses it's either I'm gonna wear my glasses and see or I'm gonna wear sunglasses to look cute I wear my glasses to see but now that I've started selling my sunglasses I actually do wear them when I'm not wearing glasses but if you're gonna sell something that you don't use you won't be able to promote it if you guys follow me on um, Instagram and snapchat I wear my glasses I wear them to parties, put a fit together. I wear them all the time to promote my business. So you need to sell something that you can wear. If you're going to sell clothes, make sure they're cute. And you're going to actually wear them. Because that's the best way to promote your um, business to other people. If the owner is actually wearing their products. Because no one's going to buy something that you don't even mess with like that. You feel me? Now number three. Have some money to start off. And what I mean by that, like me, I never worked a day in my life, not gonna hold you. I never worked a real job. Never. But I had money. I had money to start. I had enough money to do what I needed to do to start. That's what you guys need to do. So whether you guys have a side hustle, you all sell chips and candy in high school or whatever, you could do nails, makeup, bake, whatever it is to get money. Or you can actually have a real job. You can work at Chick-fil-A, Walmart, 
Target, whatever, and save up your money to start your business. And the reason why you need money, I know a lot of YouTubers out here say you don't need money to start a business. Lie. Because you actually do. Because here are some things that you guys need to know or you need to start a business. When you start a business, I feel like you should have money to um, have a supplier. So when you pay for whatever you're getting from your vendor, you need to have money to get that because that's your inventory. That's what you're going to be selling. If you don't have money to pay the vendor, then you're not getting what you want to sell. And if you're not getting what you want to sell, then you're not in business because you don't have anything. You feel me? Another thing, your logo. You need to have money to either pay someone to make a logo or yeah just pay someone to make a logo me i made my own logo but i feel like most people these days they want someone to make it for them so if you're one of those people who want to pay someone to make your logo you're gonna need you're gonna need money for that because your logo is going to most likely be your profile picture what you're going to use to brand your um whatever it's called, whatever you're selling, everything like that. Your logo is going to be what people put your face to. Oh, that's a uh, vision I wear or whatever. Oh, that's what her logo looks like. When I see that, I know that's her type thing. If you don't have, if you want to get a graphic designer or somebody who makes logos or something, you don't have money to pay them, then you're not going to have a logo unless you do it yourself. But I think there's lots of things that y'all can save money on. I would recommend to do it yourself because that's what I did. And then later, if you want to change your logo and you don't feel like doing it yourself, then you can pay somebody. But I would recommend that you do it yourself. Um, another thing that you'll need money for is uh, socials. Um, I don't even know what I meant by that. I don't know what I meant by socials. I don't know what I meant by that, but I guess I meant like some people like to pay for promotion. You can pay for Instagram promotion through Facebook or whatever. You can pay, um, what's it called? You can pay uh, different people on Instagram who do promo. You can pay them or um, what's it called? You can, <clears throat> okay, sorry y'all. My phone overheated and stopped recording. But as I was saying, um, if you, I was talking about like paying for like socials and everything. If you want to send somebody your um, product for free, know that that's money coming out of your pocket. Because when you give a product away for free for someone to promote, it's kind of like you bought that product to sell and you're not going to make money off of it because you just gave it away for free so that's money that you're losing so if you're going to do that a lot like send it to various people at the same time you need to have money um in your account because you're losing profit there so i don't really know what i meant by socials but that's a tip for y'all shoot um another thing what are you going to do differently to make you stand out these are things that you need to think these are things that you need to think about when you start your business. What is going to make you stand out? If you're selling lip glosses, yes, it's okay. Everyone's always worried about, oh, um, oh, she sell hair too. Da, da, da. No one cares. Are her friends your friends? No. The people she know, do they know you? No. So her customers will be different. Your customers will be different. It doesn't matter if y'all sell the same thing. How are you going to stand out amongst each other? Like for me... There's very few people. I don't even know anybody who um, gives out thank you cards. Like all my thank you cards that I put with my um, with my orders are handwritten, and it's a personal message to every single customer. Or not every card is the same. That's what makes me stand out. People are gonna remember me as oh, yeah, she does custom thank you letters or whatever with her orders. You don't see anybody doing that. The important things that you need when you're starting your business is you need the product, you need the logo, you need your socials, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, whatever the freak you want to use. I say Instagram is the best option because it's, it's the best option. You can make your Instagram account a business page and look at all your insights and everything. So yeah, those are things that y'all need to start to actually like start start your business you don't need to spend money on any anything extra until later on 
What's going to make you stand out? Are you going to... Frick, I don't know. Add a, add a little something to your um, packaging. Candy, whatever. Are you going to give out um, coupons for returning customers? This, that, and the third. What's going to make you different, sis? And lastly, what I have on here, ideas moving forward. If you're selling um, a product and let's say, okay, like me, when I started my sunglasses business, I found like a couple sunglasses that I liked and I saved it. If I had not done that, let's say I found like five and I sold those fives and I wanted to add a new one. I wouldn't be able to add a new one because I'll have to go back again and do research to find more that I like and some that are different that no one else sells. What I did is I found a couple that I liked, saved them. Then when I'm thinking about, oh, I want to have new inventory, I already had like a whole list of maybe like 20 plus shades of glasses that I want to sell. In my head, I always think of new designs like, oh, I want um, some blue shades. So like Dubai. I'll insert a clip right here just to show you guys what it looks like. Dubai, I was thinking like, yeah, I want I want a pair of blue shades. I'm going to call them Dubai. So I need to find shades that look like a Dubai to me. That So when you have ideas in your head, you know what to look for when you're looking for um, things for your business. As well as ideas towards like, oh, how am I going to design my business cards? Make it easy to read. Make them stand out. Um... How am I going to do photo shoots, like different ideas, like what's the theme? How do I want a promo video to go? How do I want my website to go? Do I want it to be like all white background? Do I want pictures of customers on, up there? This, that, and the third. Like have an idea of what you want going forward. That way you just you don't just stop and be like, oh, okay, so what else can I add? What else can I add? You should already be working on it before you start already have these ideas so you can go back if when it's time to come if you want to change it you change it or as you're going you always have ideas flowing that's why y'all should get a notebook y'all should get a notebook to write all your ideas down when anything comes up changes all that good stuff you got in the notebook so that's how I say you start your business just do it plan for planned um a launch date when i first started my business I set a time limit for when i want everything to be done and i got it done so that's what i mean by just do it plan a date that you want to launch or a season or a couple of months in between where you want to launch like i want to launch between november december and then make sure you have everything ready by then another tip do not say anything do not okay do not say anything unless it's finalized never say anything that you're not certain about because that as i was saying that's how you lose customer trust so i'm gonna end this video right here thanks for watching don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your homies, turn on your post notifications, support your girl, go to the description box down below, and shop vision. Um, I'll see y'all in the next video, which will be another business video, so stay tuned, okay? Okay.